Now, taking a look at this Bradley Beal situation, it's very interesting because I don't think the Wizards realized when they took the gamble on getting Russell Westbrook that there was going to be a power struggle between him and Bradley Beal. Because for starters, Russell Westbrook right now, he's pretty much on the downhill part of his career where he's getting older, he's not as fast. He has to make major adjustments in his rehab coming off of injuries to prepare his body to play. It may be something that caught him off guard that he's not used to because a lot of his game is really based off his athleticism. And the second point to look at in this situation is that with Westbrook on the downhill portion of his career, is he gonna respect Bradley Beal enough to let him take the keys? Because you have to understand in Westbrook's eyes, he looks at himself as more successful than Bradley Beal. Just the other day when John Wall had beat the Wizards, I believe that was the first time he defeated Russell Westbrook in a long time. So you have to understand Westbrook has always had a leg up on these guys. So now him being with Bradley Beal, he still views himself on the higher end of the pecking order when it comes to him and Bradley Beal. But at the end of the day, Bradley Beal right now in 2021 is more efficient and the much better play than Westbrook. But Westbrook probably looks at it like, I've won an MVP award. I've made multiple playoff appearances. You know, your ass has always been looking outside of the playoffs in a weaker conference. How can I give the keys to you? Even though this was already your franchise. This whole situation is kind of playing out a bit awkward. I mean, we even seen it with Bradley Beal's body language throughout the games. It's just certain points you could tell he doesn't give a fuck anymore. But this is the gamble the Wizards took. And I'm wondering when eventually the beans will spill on what happened with John Wall. Because something must have happened with him for the Wizards just to say, fuck it. They just threw on a draft pick and send him to Houston. So at some point, we're going to find out what really happened. But going back to Bradley Beal, I just wouldn't be surprised if he requests a trade. Honestly, eventually he's going to get to that point. Because Russell Westbrook is pretty much locked in. And because he's on that super max deal, he's basically untradeable. And I'm wondering if Bradley Beal had ambitions to be a leader of a franchise. Maybe that's why he doesn't want to get traded. Or maybe he just doesn't want to move right now in the middle of a pandemic. So he's being sort of the Mr. Nice guy right now about this whole situation. You know, another thing that we just really need to look at here is that a lot of guys right now don't want to move. Especially through this pandemic. A lot of NBA players have young families. So they're not really trying to make major moves to different cities during a pandemic, especially to potential cities that have it worse than others. So that's another thing that we should start to consider from the outside looking in, especially just for this season.